May 1916. Just six miles northeast of the city of Verdun sits Fort Douaumont, one of the most heavily fought over forts of the Great War. It was taken by the Germans in February of the same year and has been in their control ever since. The French army, consisting mostly of undertrained conscripts, is about to launch one of the deadliest offensives of the Battle of Verdun. There have been constant attempts to retake it since its original capture, but all of which have failed, and this one would be no different. At Douaumont is the horror of darkness, where the men fight in tunnels, screaming with the lust of butchery, deafened by shells and grenades, stifled by smoke. On several occasions, the French would make it to their objectives, capturing and holding them for a short time until inevitably being flushed out by wave after wave of German stormtroopers, resulting in retreats or the more likely outcome, fighting till their last breath. Even the wounded would refuse to abandon the struggle. As though possessed by devils, they fight until they fall senseless from loss of blood. A surgeon in a frontline post told me that in a redoubt at the south part of the fort, of 200 French dead, half had more than two wounds. Those he was able to treat seemed utterly insane. They kept shouting war cries and their eyes blazed. And strangest of all, they appeared indifferent to pain. After so much death and destruction, both sides grew weary. But Verdun was a battle of the weary each too stubborn to give in, and all willing to sacrifice everything in the name of victory. The dogged tenacity needed to continue the resistance far surpasses the furious elan of the attack. We know too the Germans cannot long maintain their present sacrifices. Since Saturday, the enemy has lost two, if not three, for each one of us. Every bombardment withstood, every rush checked, brings nearer the moment of inevitable exhaustion. Then will come our recompense for these days of horror. But the Germans could maintain the attacks, and for another five months the fort would continue to shift hands back and forth, push and pull, until finally, on October 24th, 1916, the French would retake Douaumont for good. The only problem was, there wasn't much of a fort left. And after all this time, thousands of men had died for a pile of smoking and broken concrete. Thank you guys for watching this gameplay slash mixed historical account on the Battle of Fort Douaumont. All of the background footage was captured in the game Verdun, but obviously I mixed in some real life photographs for it too. If you enjoyed this video, please support the channel by leaving a like slash subscribing. This has been Bobo Rail here from the Christopher Beast channel, and I'll catch you all in the next one.